The stands may be empty this year, but IndyCar races are full speed ahead as drivers travel across the country to race for the first place there. Their doctors are on the scene in the front lines taking extra steps to keep all of the teams safe. CBS 17's Militia Crash joins us live outside the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And Melissa, how's the pandemic impacted the role of an on-track physician? Well, sadly, there are no cars on the track right now, but if they were, physicians would be there ready to assist. And I got the chance to speak with one of those doctors who shared with us some of the tips they're doing to make sure everyone stays safe during this pandemic. When disaster strikes on the track. In Indy, when you hit a wall going 230 miles an hour, it's not a car accident, it's a plane accident. Dr. Deborah Rusk and the safety team of firefighters, paramedics, and physicians have to be ready to respond in seconds. We get the yellow, yellow, yellow from the command center, and we are dispatched and ready to go. Rusk is a physician for the on-track safety team. She's witnessed everything from the winning car crossing the finish line to near-death experiences. Those moments can be very scary. But racing during a pandemic is unlike anything she could have ever imagined. Our big role hasn't changed. We are here for the drivers. Point blank, end of story. Policies are in place to keep the team and the driver safe. Everyone is screened, masks and gloves are required, and temperature checks are mandatory. The drivers are under helmets. As long as they can extricate themselves from the car, we let them do that. We are wearing masks at all times, so when we respond to an incident on track, we will not only have our fire suits and our helmets on, we'll have a mask on as well. Traveling is a major factor of being an on-track physician, and for Rusk, she had to make a very tough decision this season. It changed my life significantly. Due to the coronavirus, she needed to step back from her role for now. In 2017, Rusk underwent a lung transplant, putting her at an increased risk for infection. I'm taking all the measures necessary to protect myself, and, and the decision was that traveling for this year was just too big of a risk. And as she looks forward to watching the 500 from a distance rather than from the on-track physician vehicle, Vehicle. We have to take safety precautions. You know, we are a team. She's reminded of how special the Indy 500 is and how she can't wait oh. to return. I kind of pinch myself every once in a while when I'm down there, like, I'm really a part of this. And Dr. Rusk suggests that you check with your state agency to see how you can become an organ donor. For now, reporting live for the Indianapolis 500, I'm Melissa Crash. Back to you.